I'm at the home at 8626 Jojiva Rise in the Estonia subdivision. I'm going to give you a 360 to the neighborhood here. This will be the condition of the home as of the date of this video, which is December 22nd, 2015. About 11.30 in the afternoon. This subdivision has a community pool and playground. It is close to Loop 410, Highway 151, and also Lachlan Air Force Base. Let's take a look inside. This home was built in 2015, so it is actually new construction. Just purchased from the builder a few days prior to this video. We got a two car garage here in the front with a garage door opener. The house itself is a single story, four bedroom, two bath. Square footage is roughly 2,234 square feet, so it's quite a large home for a single story. We'll do a quick layout of the floor plan here. To my immediate left is going to be two bedrooms and a hall bath. A little bit further down the hallway, right about there, is going to be the uh, access to the fourth bedroom, utility room, and the garage. Straight back to the left will be, um, midway down to the left will be the formal dining room. All the way straight back is the living room and kitchen. And to the far right corner will be the master bedroom. So right in the front, uh, you can see we got tile floors. We actually have tile throughout the entire house. Though there is no carpet anywhere in the home. We got nice neutral colors and nine foot ceilings through the home. So very open feel. I always call the masters bedroom number one. So we'll start here with the secondary bedroom, bedroom number two. Good sized bedrooms. We've got blinds in all the windows. There's your closet space. I'll show one. The other ones are going to be similar. Okay, then we have the full bath, the whole bathroom. Your sink, commode, tile shower and tub enclosure. This is bedroom number three. Similar sized closet there. To the right here we have Utility room, the wash and dryer hookups. And bedroom number four. I like that the bedrooms are all not grouped together so it has a more spacious feel and you're more spread out. That is access to the two car garage. It does have a garage door opener. This is the formal dining room in the builder plans. It's set up as a flex room, but it uh, looks like here it's set up as a formal dining. Very large space, you can put a large dining room table. We have a nice open living room and a kitchen. So this is a very large living room, about 20 feet by about 14 feet across. Nice open kitchen with recessed lighting, beautiful granite countertops. We have an overhang here, so you can use that as a breakfast bar, put some stools there. We have stainless appliances. You have a built-in oven, self-cleaning oven. There is your uh, ice maker connection for your refrigerator, uh, microwave. We have a good size walk-in pantry. So you have good storage here. You have a gas stove, which is great for people who like to do a lot of cooking. You got dual sinks and the dishwasher. This will be your informal dining or your breakfast nook. You can put a smaller table here. You can see a good sized living room. Go to the backyard. We've got a large extended uh, covered patio. So this is about 20 feet by 10 feet. So you should be able to entertain, have a barbecue, uh, tables, etc. An easy to maintain uh, yard with the fence, privacy fence. 
Also has a sprinkler system, so it would be easy to water the grass. Here is the master bedroom. It's also a large master's, uh, about 19 to 20 feet by about, uh, I think it's 13 feet across. You got a ceiling fan. You can easily fit a king size bed and have room for your dressers and nightstands. And then we have a very good size master bathroom. Here's your commode with a door for privacy. Also wanted to note that the master bedroom is again split off from the other bedrooms for additional privacy. So it is uh, very well laid out that the bedrooms again are not all grouped together. So you have a more spacious feel to the home. Stand up shower, nice garden tub here and a separate uh, sink. And then a uh, another sink that is separated from the first sink. And then we have two good size walk-in closets. And then this is the second one. This walk-in closet is about 12 feet long by six feet wide. So it's very good space. So again, this is a newly built home, never lived in. Built 2015, just shortly prior to the date of this video, this home was purchased for the first time from the builder. Four bedrooms, two bath, square footage roughly 2,234 square feet, which is very large for a one story. If you'd like more information about this home, you can contact our office at Liberty Management at 210-681-8080. Thank you.